Hi folks, my name is Sergey Lemberg. I run the website stopcollector.com and law firm Lemberg & Associates. We specialize in helping consumers recover money from debt collectors. I want to tell you today about the lies debt collectors use to collect money from consumers. Now, the first thing you need to know is that one of the most common lies debt collectors use is misleading you about who they are. Debt collector calls you, says, we are calling you on behalf of Citibank. Well, who are you? Oh, I'm a junk debt buyer that bought your debt that's 10 years old, and I'm 20 states away from you. No, 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 they'll never tell you that. They'll say we're calling on behalf of Citibank. So the first thing you need to know is get the debt collector to tell you who they are, what their name is. If they call you, the first thing out of your mouth should be, who are you people? Where are you calling from? What's your address? May I please have a letter from you? They're obligated to send you a letter within five days of their first phone call to you. Figure out who they are so that you know who you're dealing with. The second thing you need to know is that frequently debt collectors will lie about the amount or legal status of the debt. They'll call you and say you owe $5,000, $4,000, $3,000, whatever. Sometimes they're right. Sometimes they're not. Get it in writing. Make sure they send you a letter setting forth what you owe. Make them validate the amount. Go back to the original creditor and figure out whether you actually owe this amount or not. The third thing you need to know is debt collectors frequently rely about what they can or will do if you don't pay. Now, imagine you're running a big debt collection agency. Debt collectors, you know, you have a thousand collectors calling people all day long. What are people most afraid of? Lawsuits. People are afraid of lawsuits. Everybody is afraid to be sued. It's expensive, it's annoying, it's unpleasant, it's scary. Can these guys really sue everybody all the time? No. But threatening people with lawsuits is one of the most common false tactics employed in collection. Now that you know about it, you're not going to fall prey to it. The fourth thing you need to know is that debt collectors will frequently mislead you in writing. They'll say, oh, here's a forgiveness program. We're forgiving $500 of your debt, forgiving 40%, 50%. Pay attention. Read the letter carefully. Remember two things. Number one, if the debt is past the statute of limitations, you won't get sued on it. It's illegal to sue people on a debt that's past statute of limitations. It may be illegal to report it to credit agencies if it's more than seven years old. So what are they going to do to you if you don't pay? Nothing. They're going to do nothing. The second thing to remember is if you do pay it, you may restart the statute of limitations and you may be liable for taxes on the amount of the debt that's forgiven. So you got to pay careful attention to what the debt collector is telling you, what the debt is about. If you have questions, call a lawyer. Don't make these decisions willy-nilly yourself. Finally, the fifth thing you need to know is if a debt collector is lying, cheating, or stealing, if a debt collector is misleading or mistreating you in any way, pick up the phone, give us a call, we can help you. Not only will we help to stop this from happening to you, but we will be able to recover money for you from the debt collector for the harassment or abuse you have sustained. So give us a call.